November 23rd, 2017. What's your thought process today? I don't have any process. I'm just doing whatever comes to me. Which is what? It's uh, concentrating on the shapes and color and what it makes it interesting. And uh, I'm just going, letting the canvas give me some idea too. So I don't have any pre uh, thought that how it should gonna be. Be. You're just seeing how the canvas is going to balance out with what you see. Right, right, right. And it looks good, then it is okay. You know. Do you see any but, elements that you want to focus on that speak to you? Uh, definitely, I am a squee squinting my eyes, and I want to really establish the values. But uh, right now, I don't have the right probably brushes because it is very small but let me just finish my drawing and um, I'm tempted to have too much information which I should eliminate and uh, have the space for the sky the blue and, uh, and the reflection of the mountains and um, I kind of know a little bit what route to get to make it interesting so It's all about balance. Yeah. And uh, definitely I am kind of following the rules that all the, you know, uh, the position of things is not exactly what it is in front of me. Or if it is in front of me, I'm moving it around a little bit. Right. Otherwise, to... it wouldn't be balanced on your canvas. Yeah. Or the elements might fight each other. Right. Or a miss something that is really caught my eye in the first place to and then I'll don't have space for them so I have to establish that right now I think uh, this is this is good this there's is a lot of balancing natural elements already yeah I feel like you have a lot to work with oh yeah oh definitely and the color is just so vibrant yeah it, it is it is it is really uh-huh this is, see, this is the bunch of the tree reflection right now. So I have to go with the bulk, essence of the bulk, and then go to the detail. Well, this is sort of a technique of the pen and I'm trying to do that. How does it look from there so far? From my perspective? Yeah. I don't have the uh, uh, values yet. This right. Is just the of your canvas or the real? Uh, on the canvas. Oh, on the canvas. Yeah, I don't. Um, have let's see. In comparison. I don't want to introduce the color yet. Oh, well, of course not. But what I see on your canvas is a real dominance of that grouping of trees right here uh-huh okay in contrast to what you really see because in real life i think it's a lot a, a much smaller element uh -huh. but in right. your on your canvas it's something that you're really focusing on which i want to And your second element, I believe, is that large pine right here. This right here? Uh-huh. Yeah. So that's a little grouping that you're working on down below. Right, 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 right. You got that right. But in compare, those are your two, yeah. two focuses. That one large pine and the group of orange grass down below. Mm -hmm. And that small, and that other grouping of trees. Right. In relation on your canvas, it's a lot different than what you see. Oh, okay. What do you think? Yeah. It's a hard life being a 
being a painter and um, getting what you see from the eye, something translated onto one little square box. Mm -hmm. Definitely. One little square rectangular perspective compared to our rounded eyes. Yeah, you got that right. Just giving a little bit of more suggestion of what is really caught my eye in the first place. What caught your eye in the first place? The, all these beautiful uh, variation of color, shadows, and uh, shapes. And uh, there's a little bit of a movement in the water. I haven't got to that yet. Yeah. Is that rock going to make it? Oh, yeah, this rock. I, I might. It was. I, it was here, but I'm moving it a little bit. So, I'm just okay. One thing that I have to keep. Tell me, are you videoing? Yes. Okay. One thing that I'm just gonna stress that to. I should write it. Have fun. So it's about having fun, and not the stress. So. If you pay attention to that... You say that, you but at the same time, you had to be comfortable yeah. with with critically thinking during this point. It's uh -huh. not just a passerby. You really have to think. Right. So you have to be not stressed about thinking uh -huh. a lot. And, uh, and, and, and then I have to write down, squint your eyes to get a good uh, value relationship. So... Let me, let, me, let me do this. When I plein air painted, um, I was very stressed because it's very difficult. Is it? Yeah. It is, isn't it? <laughs> it's so difficult. It's, it's... Oh, yeah. You can't it translate is. what you see onto the Okay, so panther. what I'm going to do, see the space right there and uh, the relationship, and I'm just going to, okay, right there. Which so space? I, I, In I'm between going... the rock and the grass? Yeah, those trees, those bunch of trees in the uh -huh. back. Yeah, uh, that there grouping is one shape of right there, and then I have to do the grouping, uh, one shape of uh, sh uh, shadows. These are sh the shadows, the darkness, and it just coming right there, yeah, right there, and then right here a little bit, uh, which is a little bit the value if I call a top work on it it is lighter this is lighter back and then i just come ah right there this tr right there okay it just comes to this tree and then at the edge of this Right here, right there, okay? Now I'm gonna build up my values here. This is a good, this is good color. I have to really eliminate uh, the details, so this is... How are you eliminating the details? Just squinting your eyes? Squinting the eyes. And, and trying to really see the shape. Really, okay, the squinted eyes not only helps the value, also... The shape. The shapes. The true the shape. shape. And the scale, the relationship. Okay. It is... See, this is right there. Okay. And then I have this other bunch of tree. This is how taller about... Like In there. comparison. In comparison. That's all about the Compare. comparison. Okay. And then this one here, see I moved it, already I did a little bit of adjustment. And then this shape, it is this right here, and this tree right there, and, and, and then right here. And then you don't want to too equal all those technical aspects, so I just did this to make it more interesting. Right there. What do you mean? Um, they, what do you mean? You don't want them to be too equal? What does that mean? You don't. You don't want any equal 
shapes value equal value of color is called value of shapes lines uh, uh, you want the right so that All right. make it more interesting this is a technical aspect that I'm trying to uh, follow okay there and then now I squint the eyes the shadow on the rock is darker than the the uh, shadow of the tree in the back no it's actually lighter so I'm just going to add a little bit of a uh, white and a little bit of uh, uh, so where did you move the rock to because right now it's in front of the okay so it's right really off to the side it's just going to be it is going to be right about right here right here this is the rock and uh, the size compared to the size of the tree the height of this and the height of the rock see it is the tree is almost uh, if I go like that it is three to four times so this is about right of the size of the rock and then I have some light on it, but I'm not going to concentrate on that right now. So this is the bulk va uh, size of the rock. And then I go on the detail later. And this is the water. And this is the shadow of the rock in the water. And then we have this, you know, this uh, uh, grass here then uh, right here so it is it's gonna make I have to get rid of this I have to get rid of this this is that upper unit of the rock yeah the upper part yeah okay. now this uh, have the shadow in the water uh, he's the dark. rock? He's dark. Right there. And then this dark. So you're working on the value right now? Value, uh, yeah. And the shape at the same Value time. and the shape. So you're changing yeah. the to a dark color to work on the value? Right. And the shape? Right. You're drawing and the shape is, with the value. Right. And this is... Uh, uh, these, uh, the shadow of these uh, lighted uh, shrubs. And this is the top of the tree. And then I have this right here from right there. I have a dark. And I've got to make sure that these are straight. It's not bending or leaning. Uh, right here. And uh, comes here. Right there. And this is down further. And, uh, and then like that, then like this. This is all the reflection that you're working on? Right. Just there. Now, the reflection right now, is it the same value as the uh, reality? What I see is lighter. Actually, the reflection is always color. lighter. Oh uh, yeah, but the, theoretically, the, it should be darker than uh, uh, the value of the shadow in the tree. But I don't. I, I see it lighter. So when you, you squint, know, you see the you see a lighter the value. Light is hitting the water. That's what it is. Okay. I, I think that's what it is. Is that going to change when the light goes away? Is it going to get darker? Oh, definitely. Just constantly changing. So I'm going to work on the value of this mountain. Oh, you're going to move on to the mountain? Yeah, the, in the water. Oh, in the water. It's pretty in light. Water. Yeah, it is light, isn't it? Yeah, so right now your value, so, is it almost looks like a, a purple, but you're not concentrating too much on color, more on the value. More on the value. See? This, it's a light. How much lighter? In comparison to that rock shadow. Yeah. I can't even make it lighter. Right, right there. 
Well, it's coming together. I see the, see I see that, that one tree value in the reflection is the dark. Yeah. Okay, I have to correspond that right here. I gotta move that a little bit. Right there. Okay, and then I have that. The idea is to read, okay, now I have to compare the value of the color the, of the reflection of the mountain in the water. Now, because the light is hitting the mountain, the value of the mountain is less. Than the reflection. The reflection is uh, uh, darker. Darker. So, and a little bit more green. So, this is my. Yeah, the light, because it's hitting the mountain, is a little more washed out. Yeah, so I'm concentrating a little bit of the color as well. So I'm just going to... So these are now the trees in the mountain. They are a little darker. No, actually they are lighter. They're pretty light. Wow. See, that's what's called plein air. You get the right color. Not what you think it's going to be. Exactly. Yeah, because you think in contrast it's going to be dark shadows surrounding these trees right but the light is surrounding it and just a suggestion of the you still working on the on the shape and I value? I just want to cover the whole canvas before I really go into any any detail. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do the sky. You think that's a, something that you always um, try to accomplish before you... Yeah. Always try to cover, cover the, the canvas. canvas. You want to cover the canvas, and then you can change the color, you can change the shape. But the lucky day, or the day that what you put in the first place is the right place and the right color, right value, and all that. So I'm just going to see how lighter is this color compared to this. This is beautiful. You see that? And then I can go back and change that if I need to. But this is this is the the right bad. changes in color it just create the uh, 3d because I'm I'm painting on a uh, uh, 2d dimension and I'm trying to convince a 3d so with the slight changes of color you create color 
perspective, not only with line, also with color, you are creating color perspective. See, this is darker than this. That's what I did. And now I'm going to go to the shape of the cloud. There's a lot of cloud there, but I am going to concentrate of having a really nice uh, shape of color. So that's called uh, kind of uh, uh, grouping, grouping your that's a good shape of cloud. Still videoing? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's nice. We can put that on a YouTube. And the gallery. And the gallery. Yes, I'm just going a little bit too much into the detail, which I should, and I said I won't, but sometimes you forget. Yeah, I'm not sure if I see that whole canvas covered yet. No, I'm going to. Definitely, I'm, that's what I'm going to do. And one other thing that I haven't done on this painting is walk away and look at it because you've got to look at it from distance. But I want to just finish my uh, all the uh, the whole canvas covered before I walk away and look at it. And it is kind of awkward right now sitting like that, so I better do something about that too. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, now I'm just gonna okay compare the colors and the value of reflected sky. It's darker. Definitely, it's darker. You see that? Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna work on the shape here.
is the darker color, darker value. You're adding the clouds. Almost there, huh? Almost. Okay, I'm going to jump into my... Oops. Yeah, I think...